Hello, fellow humans, and welcome back to the Personnel Docking Bay. We are playing Dead Space 3 Awakened. And we are looking for a way of getting our... Is that our shuttle? Yes. Our shuttle, or what we're looking for a way of getting out of this place. I'm going to take a very quick look for anything knocking around in space because almost certainly some mines so that's a thing which way up am i that way up um there's almost certainly something hidden out here i would think I wish I had a guide, actually, for this. Because I wasted a chunk of time the first time we got here. I can't see anything. You know, if there is something, it'll be, like, on the back side of one of these. Also, must double-check my... Um, it's right at the start of the chapter so if there is something out here i'll i'll pick it up on a a subsequent playthrough Though I am going to check this shuttle. Which looks like it's uh, in a bit of a state. No, it doesn't look like it. Right. I guess we're going in here? Yes. So again, we've got uh the area being reused that's fine stick one of these down because why not this is where we originally docked oh yeah i did remember to hit record didn't i yes It feels like a very long time ago that we were here. And that's kind of the point, isn't it? Hello. If anyone out there is still sane, you have to finish the plan. We thought we could use the ship's reactor to power our shock point drive, but they've taken it to the conning tower at mid station and locked me out. If you can get to the bridge, there should be a way to defeat the lockdown, but you'll need to. No. Time for you to join the church, brother. No! Get off me! Stop! Stop! Carver, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, you think you can lift the lockdown? I'm about to find out. Enter and be judged. Yay. Uh. Wasn't anything else in here, wasn't there? Uh, we can't go to floor three, I guess, because of that was the lockdown. I can't remember any of the layout of this place, which is good because it means it's fresh. Art. Ah, the bridge.
Three reload, three rate of fire. Take our eyes that we may see. What have they done to themselves? System lockdown activated. So they've done some weird shit to themselves. Because of course they have. Oh, text log. Another brother, what's his face? Yes, him. Vested Vandal Car. With the voice came a wave of uncontrollable expressions of faith. One of the more devout in our group chose to meet the voice sooner rather than later and scattered his brains on the ceiling. The rest of us left the planet to make ready the way as the voice commanded. But in our haste, we failed to anticipate the ancient space mines still floating in orbits. Many of the faithful were called home. The rest of us have regrouped at an intact, derelict ship, the Terra Nova. We managed to salvage a shock point drive from the wreckage of one of our dropships and hope to adapt it to the Terra Nova's reactor. But our group is splintering. Faith has given way to madness and a new church is forming. My only hope is to get this ship functioning so we can return to Earth before we are all taken by these new distractions. Well, are we going to live the entire lockdown with a, a basic Zebra Industries hack? Because I'm really not sold on Zebra Industries security methods. Floor three is now open. Carver, I'm heading to the tram. I should have the shock point drive soon. Good. I'm not far from the reactor. I'm going to go see what shape it's in. Did that just say we had to go to the conning tower? Because I spent a lot of time at the damn conning tower. Whoa! You all right? Voices. In my head, they want me to. They want me to lead them. Well, don't listen to them. We need to get home. <laughs> Thanks, Carver. That's what they want us to do. All right. Isaac, when people hear voices in their heads, it means they're going crazy. You are going crazy. All right. Now get the fucking shock point drive. Shit. <laughs> Does Carver not know anything about what happened to us in Dead Space One and Two? he probably doesn't does he oh wonderful these things aren't going to come to life at all thought diary it appears there aren't many of us left now who haven't submitted to the new church they hunt us in packs going corridor by corridor trying to flush us out they've taken to wearing their ceremonial hoods but i can still recognize some of them i can't be sure whose face is under the leader's mask he claims to speak for the voice and has gotten everyone obsessed with turning the ship into a church as unitologists we are taught from an early age that our bodies are sacred vessels that will be be united when convergence comes but this new leader teaches that our bodies are imperfect he literally hews away the body's imperfections replacing them with grotesque appendages in honor of the voice he makes his followers gather the cast-offs in baskets as offerings i don't know how much longer i can evade them so because there aren't any new necromorphs being made they're turning themselves into kind of symbolic Necromorphs?
It's not going wet well. Yeah. It's lovely. Ooh, that motion blur. Hmm, I was expecting jump scare there. Jump scare on ladder? No. Oh, I like the fact that the signs are now in the unitology... The unitology script. Oh. Interesting. I can't. Hi. Now, my brother, you too will become one of us, a true believer. Whoa! This is cool. I like the fact that the enemies we're fighting are... We're not entirely sure. Isaac, what happened? I... I don't know. I thought... They... They were here, but... Uh, okay, okay. We gotta get out of here before you turn into a basket case. Can you reach the conning tower? Yeah. I can use the tram to reach the mid station. I should be there soon. Oh, this area. I remember this area. I hadn't realized that's where we were because we came in from this way rather than coming out through this way fighting the some regenerators and having to restart a checkpoint multiple times. But now, now I recognize it. Mid station. This dickhead. The age of man is at an end. We have become too many, too little to go around. Corporations that we once trusted with our money have squandered it. The governments that we once trusted with our future have sabotaged it. To their eternal credit, we are dying. But fear not. There is a future. Is this the... As promised by the prophet Michael Auckland, the black marker has a plan. Is this the video broadcast we saw right at the start? From our miserable existence. And we will become one. United in body and united in spirit. Our unity will be our salvation. We will live on. Not as men, but as God. They've changed the lighting Church of Unitology is where in this area. My friends, throw off the chains of this life and join us as the new one begins. I I'm very much that expecting. That I am this message. I am this message. I'm, I'm definitely expecting um, the age of man at least one of those to come alive at some point. Mark II stasis supports. What does that do? What's the difference? Can we find out?
It's not that. It's that. Oh, it's it's an upgraded version of. And we will become one, united in body and united in spirit. Why does that give us clip? I wonder if there's a uh, an upgraded version of stasis coating. Probably not. Throw off the chains. Right, I guess we're going up the tower. And I am this message. Brothers and sisters. Yeah, I don't trust those things in the, in the slightest. All are welcome to be a part of our church. But what part will you give? An ear that you may hear their message? A tongue that you may spread their word? Or a head that you may understand their divine wisdom. Um. Yeah, see, the fact that these have a hitbox and can be stasisable. Stasisable? Stasisized? No. Oh, and I was right. I was wrong about how, but I was right. Come here. This is the area where we had the first ambush, wasn't it? Some of them are going to be here. Oh, stasis doesn't work on them. Oh, good. Sod? This is well done, actually. I am enjoying how this is working. It's a natural evolution of... Uh-oh. I 
it's a natural evolution of the, the kind of state of mind. Squish. Text log. I tried to run, but my ankle caught in a hole in the catwalk and snapped. They dragged me to a closet. A closet? Closet. Until they could prepare the church. I suspect they mean to kill me. In these final hours, it's not the numbing pain of my ankle that preoccupies me or even fear for my life. I know I will die. What worries me is what will happen when I do. Is there even such a thing as convergence? We've been told our entire lives how wonderful it will be. But what we have witnessed is anything but. And this voice. Are we instruments of its divinity or have we become the tools of our own destruction? I find myself hoping that none of it is true and that when I die I will feel nothing and this nightmare will finally be over. I have only one more moment of pain to endure and then I will be free. It is amazing to me as a secular person how desperately people cling to faith in times of tragedy. I wish I had that a lot of times and that seems to be what they're going for here as well how these people who've had centuries isn't it wasn't it three centuries worth of altman and the unitologists and at the last minute having seen the face of god you could argue there are people who are are prepared to say nope don't want none of that afterlife that's you again they're really mixing up just how much of whoever that is that they're playing with as well there's some extended sections there's some just brief glimpses where you're shooting once and he disappears it's it keeps you on your toes it makes me think more of the original game actually almost like this is stuff that they could have given us in Dead Space 3, but didn't. Weren't allowed to, maybe? You know, this stuff would have really helped. Not that Dead Space 3 wasn't an atmospheric title, because it was in a lot of places, especially the Alien City. But a different kind of atmosphere to, to this. Are we going to get jump scare here? That's suspicious. I think the guy with the cleavers is a, is a an apparition of our own fear. Yeah, Isaac is uh, not unknown for Isaac to see things. Three reload, three clip. Yes, I'm going down here. Oh, going down here. There's a bench down here. And a suit kiosk. There's always a bench down here. Can't remember. Either way, we shall use it. A few moments later. Hello, ladder. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Can be a little bit flaky at times. Right, this is taking us up. Huh? 
if you didn't do the Mark II damage supports. If you didn't do the Conning Tower optional mission, this section is probably a bit interesting to you because you won't have been to this place. There's no need to come here in the main game. This is purely for the optional mission. There we go. More damage? I don't know by how much, what percent, etc, etc. Do not trust the vents. Right. I love the fact that they've just kind of um, duct taped it. Also, they've moved the guy. I have to wonder if I'm just... Yeah, this has got a very... Dead Space 2 Nicole feel to it. If we go, they're going to be able to follow us. Ah. Yeah, they can't. They can't get to Earth without us. So do we go? I found it, Carver. Great, now let's go home. We're not going back. No one can. What? Yes, we, we can. There's time to warn everyone. I, Isaac, we can save Ellie. If any one of us returns, they'll follow. We have to destroy the shock point drive. No! I, Isaac, bring the drive to the reactor. You've got to do this for me, man. Yeah, I'll bring it to the reactor so I can throw it in. Then we blow the whole thing to hell. No, I did God. Is Carver in her a hallucination? That'd be interesting. Chapter three is called Perdition, which means that this spells out Rip. We shall see. I can't. There are a few words in English that that begin with R.I.P. and then carry on, obviously. Um, but for a game like Dead Space, or series like Dead Space, it makes perfect sense to have a three-chapter coda. I suppose. Um, so we had Requiem, a song sung for the dead. We had Infidels, people that go against a particular religious teaching. And then we had Perdition, the fires of Perdition. Perdition is linked with purgatory, isn't it? So a religious testing or a testing of faith i think that's right if i'm wrong with my meaning there because perdition is not a word i use very often um 
I'll stick something up on the screen to my whatever side that is. If there's nothing there, it means I was right. Be interesting, though, if Carver is, in fact, a hallucination. Uh, especially if you've been playing... I assume you can play this co-op. Um... Because that means one of you has been playing a hallucination. But yeah, we can't, we can't go back, can we? Isaac's right. The question is, is he going to give in to Carver? Carver. Because why does Carver need this? Carver's got nobody to go back to. suspect suspect that's 32 minutes so next time chapter three i'm guessing the final chapter of this dlc so we've had an hour and a half out of it so far another half hour yeah a couple of hours maybe that for some would be a bit short i'm quite enjoying what they're doing with it so you know seven quid is the price of a mcdonald's these days so whatever um, I spend more on an Uber Eats delivery, which lasts me maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> so, you know, perspective, friends, perspective. Until next time, we shall take a trip into perdition. Hopefully you will join me for that. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing? Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.